about seven years ago, we realized that climate change is a reality and that we have to save water. And so we went out on a campaign to conserve water by teaching our communities, our school children, how to save water. We took it further to look at all the leaks in the system and employed thousands of people, trained them as plumbers um, to help us to fix all the leaks in the city. We also had produced a water demand management whereby people that were in arrears with their water, if they were prepared to put in the water demand management um, next to their tap, which will allow them about 150 kiloliters of water free a day, um, then we installed it for them. And so we've installed thousands of water uh, management devices all over the city. And so people are restricted by choice to only use a limited amount of water. And that is the kind of project that I would really like to share with the rest of Africa um, and the rest of the world, uh, as we also learn from the other C40 cities. Well, I've long time put my hope and the faith in dealing with climate change to the city mayors around the world. Uh, we cannot rely any longer on our sovereign governments. Uh, they talk, uh, the cities do things, we, because we deal with the effects of climate change on a daily basis. And I do hope that COP21 here in Paris will produce a binding agreement not a, a just a memorandum of under, but an agreement that could be legally binding on all the countries. But we, we have to stop talking and do more. We need to see more actions. And the only people that can bring more action are mayors.